Hey howdy, Zudova here, and welcome to the third and final grudge match uh, against Shadow Online Gaming. I have here the dwarfs, and we're going to be fighting against the high elves. I have a very different army than the first two. For my front line, I have a very heavy hitting group of hammers, all with one chevron. I want to be prepared for Swordmasters of Hoeth and, um, you know, White Lions, stuff like that. I brought from my back line some Bugman's Rangers and uh, Slayers to really deal with any uh, Cav they have, Illyrian Reavers, this sort of things. I do have a group of Bolt Throwers, two groups of Bolt Throwers, and I brought a Flame Cannon. And that is really to try and deal with Swordmasters if he brings any, because Swordmasters of Hoeth are incredibly powerful. They do beat Hammers one-on-one. -on -one. They're difficult to deal with, so I want to use this... Uh, back line of artillery to deal with that. I've got uh, some thunders to deal with any dragons or lords and I've got Belagar Iron Hammer. Now for Shadow's army he has got, I've already started shooting to these swordmasters. He's got four swordmasters of Hoeth. These guys are incredibly powerful. They're going to be very difficult to deal with so we've got to get some early shots into them. He's got two dragons one prince uh, on dragon one just sun dragon and he's got two uh, silver helms uh, in the back and he's got a mage of life so I've already started shooting into his infantry I've got to get them down before he gets into my front lines because they're just going to wreck my hammers so I've got my uh, thunder shooting in at his dragon I've also sent my bugman's rangers to shoot his dragon I will bring my slayers up and he's already got one dragon breath off on these bugman's rangers it's so powerful and cuts them down to half health. They will regenerate some, but he's going to land in two places, and I've got to bring my Slayers in here. He's going to also land on my Thunder, so I'm bringing my Slayers in, and of course, Belagar Iron Hammer to try and deal with it. The front line is coming, so I'll send my Hammers up, I'll give them a command to counter charge so I can try and uh, fight them effectively, and he's got his Silver Helms in, overwhelming this, this side of the battle. Now, I brought my Slayers in to try and deal with this Prince. I've already got him very close to routing. I've put both my Bolt Throwers on him. And uh, I'm going to try and keep my Thunderers on him to keep him routing. And I've also still got my Bugman's Rangers. You can see we've routed the, the one group of Swordmasters here. We are losing right here. And we're very close on, on this side. So where we've got some shots in, we're doing all right. He's brought his Dragon in to try and finish off this side. Uh, I'm going to bring my hammers back in to try and get a rear charge on these Swordmasters of Hoeth. Um, these guys, my hammers, are definitely not going to be able to handle it. He's going to get his Swordmasters into my back line. He's got his Mage of Life onto my Thunders. I'm trying to get my Bolt Throwers to shoot in on his Princes and his other Dragons. My Slayers have done a pretty good job of holding out on this side. He has routed my Bugman's Rangers. Another breath attack on my Slayers. I've got uh, Belagar himself onto this Mage of Life. He will definitely easily win that fight. And uh, these Sword Mathers of Hoeth have gotten right into our back lines. They're going to go after this Flame Cannon. There's not much I can do about it. Uh, I have routed that Prince off, and now I'm going to change my focus onto this other dragon. I've managed to route these Swordmasters of Hoeth. I have to bring these hammers back in to get after this Mage of Life. I'm going to reset my Thunders to try and get back and shoot in at the, this uh, Sun Dragon if I can. I just want to keep these guys routing, so I've, I've sent my Bugman Rangers to shoot at them. I'm going to refocus my Bolt Thrower over there as well. And these uh, Bugman's Rangers have come back online. They are shooting at the Sun Dragon. And... I've got my flame cannon shooting at the Silver Helms. We've managed to very quickly win that fight. Um, things went incredibly fast, as they will when you have frontline infantry like we had. Uh, you know, we had four units of hammers. They got 24, 56, 33, and 47. And his uh, Swordmaster of the Hoeth, even though they were beat up by our artillery before they even came to our line got 57 85 16 and 17 so these 16 are the first guys that routed but uh... swordmasters of hoeth are just straight up uh... more powerful than the hammers so i knew i had to do something and be prepared for that uh... the silver helms weren't able to do a whole lot they did overwhelm my left flank but i was able to get both my slayers over there to support and um, 
Bugman's Rangers, they didn't get a lot of kills, but they were focused on maintaining uh, fire on the Sun Dragons and the Prince in order to keep that uh, constant debuff to their leadership of minus five for being hit by missiles. And same with the Bolt Throwers. The Bolt Throwers got some kills on the way in, 21 and 17, and our Flame Cannons got 36. I maintained the Flame Cannons shooting at their uh, Silver Helms, but I kept the bolt throwers shooting at the dragons again because that adds an additional minus 10 debuff to their leadership because I wanted to get them routing, which I was able to do. Uh, the Mage of Life was able to get in there, but this battle went by obviously incredibly quickly. Uh, we have really nothing but damage dealing units out here. Uh, so it's not going to last very long. Belagar Ironhammer was, I, I don't even think he was hit or hurt at all. He was able to handle that Mage of Life quite, quite, uh, quite well. Our Thunders, even though they only got one kill, uh, I, they did their job with really hurting that Prince when he came in, along with my Bugman's Rangers on my right-hand side. My left-hand side, they got that Dragon Breath, and they absolutely got wrecked. There was... Uh, nothing I could do about that so I shifted over my slayers they got 31 and 11 kills those would have all been against the uh, silver helms uh, I w was trying to attack the dragons but the uh, and support against those silver helms so they were able to hold out on my left flank and uh, I didn't really even use Belagar a whole lot um, I did bring his ability uh, of 20 plus 27 melee defense but he didn't even I got to use it once. I mean, the fight just went so fast and uh, wasn't really able to do much from there. The This dragon here, they got 41 kills. They're, that's where he got his dragon breath off on my Bugman's Rangers. And, you know, fortunately for me, I don't have a lot of abilities here. So uh, these dragons have three breath attacks each, and they were only able to get off two, which was... Uh, which was good because uh, they lost some value in that not being able to really mash down my troops really quickly. Um, I generally handled the Swordmasters of Hoath. They, they did have one group that broke through, but the other three, we were able to, to win that frontline engagement. I mean, our, our hammers got pretty beat up. We, we did have one unit left with some solid... Uh, um, units left in them and we did have our Bugman's Rangers left so a really very quick very very bloody fight which I would expect nothing else with the Dowie facing off against the High Elves our ancient enemy a little bit uh, a few grudges crossed off from the War of Vengeance and uh, that is the third and final battle uh, in our series of grudge matches with shadow online gaming and uh as i've said before and i'll say again if you haven't gone and subscribed to shadow's channel go over there and subscribe to him he's got great content he does lots of other battles with other youtubers he's had a youtuber tournament he's really a community organizer he, and uh you know i've from being subscribed to him he's turned me on to another to other few youtubers which i love their content so uh, aside from the great content you'll also get basic uh basic and in, basically an insight into the youtuber total war warhammer community which is fantastic because you'll you'll see new youtubers and and uh, hopefully find some content that you'll love so in summary i mean the great fight uh i really had a good time with shadow we were we were uh, both online talking about the battles uh, as we did them and had a lot of good laughs he's very very fun to uh collaborate with and uh again this was all his idea of having three grudge matches with the dowie which i couldn't have asked for more uh as i only play the dowie and he really wanted to bring three armies that were really appropriate and play on maps that were lower appropriate and wanted to make it entertaining and fun for everyone which uh hopefully he he has and uh i hope you guys all love that and i you know hopefully i'll be working with uh shadow again in the future as i really had a great experience and uh and i look forward to doing so again so I hope you found that set of grudge matches with the Dowie versus the Greenskins versus the Skaven and versus the High Elves interesting and fun to watch. And I will 
See you soon.